Oh, this is my paint scheme that I've been doing with my crude. Um, just the original paint scheme, pretty much, and it's how I like it. So, um, one of the first crude I ever painted, I thought I'd go with some kind of desert theme. That didn't work, so now I am trying to strip the first crude I have and then paint it. So, I'm going to try taking it out. This is, um, of course, simple green, which is what has been highly rated with the pewter I stripped with uh, acetone which is available in your chemistry lab or hardware store if you don't aren't in or if you aren't a chemistry major so we're gonna put that there and as you can see this is the first scheme I ever had it wasn't too shabby but you know what I'm really happy with the original theme I'm going with now, so we're going to see how well it strips to being in uh, simple green for that long. And as you can see, it's coming off pretty good, as I can see. And actually, we're doing really well because now all the paint has come off. So, I mean, the glue. So that's not bad. Uh, it's stripping to a, a white, so it might have been in too long. I left it in for most of the day, pretty much, uh, I'd say about six hours. And it's, well, it's kind of brushing just right off. Like, here it is, and now here it isn't. So, I have to actually say, this is the first time stripping a plastic model with simple green, and uh, it's surprising to say the least that it came off this easy. Well, only problem I'm seeing is that the places where there was glue is having a bit of problem stripping. That's okay, that can easily be painted over it. The biggest thing is right here, I'm going to see how much detail I actually lose when I strip. I'm sorry if I was out of frame, but as you can see, even, uh, let's see, I think even the base has come off. Yeah, the base is pretty much coming off easy. Anyway, so here we go, continuing to strip. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm using the toothbrush that I usually use, so I have to go out and buy a new one before I go to sleep tonight. The sacrifices we make for Warhammer, huh? Anyway, uh, not, it's actually not too bad. Could have maybe left it in for a bit longer, but most of the paint is gone. This is mainly just a test model that I had that I wanted to see how it would work and um, it worked quite well so the next video I'll finish scraping this off and then I'll prime it and paint it and you will see the results